This is the Riverhawk Report. It is a new year. Still no snow on the ground. Just another day in paradise. Hockey and basketball are back from the break. So we've got to get this report going. The UMass Lowell Hockey Riverhawks picked up right when they left off. One of the hottest teams of the country. Back from the holiday, they wrapped up the old year with an in-season tournament championship and started the new year with a bit of frozen diplomacy. First up, the Toyota Yukon Hockey Classic. The Riverhawks hammered RPI in the opener. 7-2 was the final six different players scored goals. Joe Pendenza had two goals the first and last of the night. David Valerani had a goal and two assists three points, and that put him over the 100-point mark for his career. The 40th UMass Lowell player to reach that milestone, the 20th since the program moved to Division I. Scott Wilson, Terrence Wallen, Stephen Bucco, and Michael Budd also scored goals in the opener. came toward the front of the net, lost the puck, and Pendenza got it to a teammate. Holmstrom ahead to Ferreira, to Pendenza in on goal, shot, score! Got it to Eisenman, he skates past two at center ice. Into the attack zone, right side, looks for help. Sends it toward the net, backhanded by Buko, score! Steven Buko, the one up here! Into the attack zone to Valorani. Steps through a man toward the net, Val, backhander, score! Steven Valorani, spectacular, a shorthanded goal! Set up by Riley uh, it means a lot. Uh, you know, I'm just happy to get over with. Uh, I play with some great linemates. Uh, they help me out a lot there, so uh, I give credit. Lyles comes up by some voids men. Lyles to the RPI zone. Steps around one, couldn't step around another. Wilson blocks a pass. In the slot, fire, scores! Scott Wilson! The, the other way. Odd man rush. Valerani on the left wing into the attack zone. Drop pass, block drive, score! The Riverhawks have a five the right one of the net. Quick shot, score! Terrence Wallen, right off the face up. Lyle sends it on goal. Deflected by Pendenza, score! And it is The Riverhawks then grabbed Riverhawks. the championship and avenged an early season loss, beating the host school, the University of Connecticut, 4-3 in overtime. David Valerani had two goals, including the game winner. Scott Wilson and Terrence Wallen also scored goals in that Buko one. bumps it to center ice, then to Holmstrom on the charge. Holmstrom into the attack zone. Nicely to Buko in front for Wilson. Shot. Score! Bounces down right corner. Val's got it right boards. Feeds left point. Eiserman tees it up. Fires. Missed the net. Rebound. Valerani shoots and scores! And the Riverhawks have out two. Now to Ferreira, turns, fires, missed the net. Rebound, Wallen, wrap around, score! Face off the Riverhawk line, Ambrosian and Wetmore. And the puck popped into the Riverhawk zone. Carr shuffles it to Suter. Suter taken to the boards. Centering pass is deflected, and the Riverhawks will go the other way. Valerani, two on two with Arnold. Arnold on the right side. Arnold, quick shot, save. Valerani, rebound, shot, score! Riverhawks win, Riverhawks win, Riverhawks win it in overtime. David Valerani is second goal of the night with 6.59 remaining. David Valerani was named the tournament MVP. Valerani, goaltender Doug Carr, defenseman Chad Ruedel, and Scott Wilson were named to the all-tournament team. The Riverhawks returned to the Saugus Center on Thursday, an exhibition game, a touring team in town, the Russian Red Stars. The Riverhawks were winners. 6-4 was the final. 11-10 left in the first period. Bud wins the draw. Lyles left point works down the boards to the left face-off circle. Shot! Score! Malcolm Lyles! Center ice at the Russian line. Works right side with the shot. Safe. Wilson rebound. Shot! Score! 2-0 Riverhawks! Buko led the charge out of the zone. Tax on. Brickler down the left side. Brickler toward the net. Backhander scores! Tyler Brickler with an absolutely spectacular move coming out of the left corner. And a 3 0 River Hawks. Oh my goodness. What a pretty play by Brickler. Sends it ahead. Holmstrom in alone. Holmstrom on goal. Shot. Score! Josh Holmstrom makes it 4 0 River Hawks. He went high, glove side, short side as he was coming down the center slot a little bit to the right. And it's 4 0 Lowell. Taking the man. Got it toward Wetmore, then Arnold. Now Wetmore into the attack zone. Wetmore to Ferreira. Now Valerani, drive, score! 
Kevin Valorani will tell you probably didn't get the best wood on it, but he got perfect placement for a puck that uh, seemed to knuckle on him. Just under the crossbar, and the Riverhawks have a 5-3 lead. Right face off circle, Valorani. Valorani to Wetmore, shot, score! Oh, pretty they've been trying to set that up all night. This time they made it work, Riverhawks! Lead by a score of 6-4. to four. The goal, Wetmore, the assist, Valorani. There'll be a second assist. Will that be Suter or Ferreira? I'm trying to remember the order. I don't know. I think it was Ferreira. The Westwall Hockey Riverhawks now are 12-5 and five on the season. They return to action Friday at the University of Vermont. UMass Lowell men's basketball has come back from the break with back-to-back -back solid performances, victories against Concordia and AIC, both by healthy margins. Head coach Greg Horrendous says all offense comes from solid defense. You know, if we steal it, we pass it, and we score it quickly, and, and now the offense just flows. We were fortunate to get good stops and, and, and get good turnovers, and then the next thing you know, Welch is getting open shots, Hakeem and Deepa and Joe, and that seems to be our, the trilogy on our team, those three guys. And now Kerry Weldon scored around the bucket, and Antonio Bivens is getting better. The Riverhawks defeated Concordia 109-81, five players in double digits, and then topped AIC 74-58. In that one, four players were in double digits. Akeem Williams led the way with 18. Matt Welch threw in 16. Antonio Bivens, at times spectacular, added 15. And Depanjo Singh hit for 10. The Riverhawks have won four of five. They are eight and four on the season. UMass Lowell women's basketball has been having some problems shaking off the break. They've dropped three straight. The most recent is 79-55 loss at the hands of AIC. And now we've had three tough games in a row where um, the opponent, we're letting the opponent shoot, have time to shoot, or have open shots, not rotating correctly on defense. And then on offense, we're getting some good shots and we miss them and then we start to force a little bit. So the shot selection isn't so good and we're not moving enough without the ball. That is head coach Sarah Bain. Bianca Simmons was the only Riverhawk to reach double digits. She hit for 17. And that's the Riverhawk Report.